Good morning, everyone. My name is Smitty Stream. I'm going to do our February the 21st Spiritual Principle Day in a Meditation. Hope you're doing well this morning. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. Uh, the title of today's meditation for us, Faith Provides Shelter from the Storm. I know that faith in my higher power will not calm the storms of life but it will calm my heart. I will let my faith shelter me in times of trouble. Now that is coming from the Just For Today, Faith, date January 11th. Most of us have heard it said that none of us gets here by accident. It wasn't exceptional skills for handling life on life's terms that got us here. It was unmanageability. Working step one helps us to see how active, excuse me, see how addiction creates chaos in our lives and shows us how we can begin to gain some freedom. Some of us, while floating on that early recovery pink cloud of hope, might prematurely celebrate the end of all the drama in our lives. We might rush off and make amends to our families or our exes or virtual strangers, eager to let them know that our problems are all in the past now. Then life gets tough and reality sets in again. We are let down by people and institutions we think should we should be able to respect. Rent is too high. We get sacked from our job for no reason. A public health crisis occurs. On top of that, our favorite television series is canceled. The injustice of it all and our step work doesn't stop any of it from happening. Our disease creates unmanageability in our lives, sure. And arresting the disease by working steps can help us put it into our needless, self-inflicted suffering. However, not all of the messes in our life are self-created. No amount of step work or meditation will prevent us from ever experiencing loss, sadness, rage, frustration, and other unpleasant feelings. No amount of prayer will guarantee freedom from unpleasant encounters with coworkers, family members, or random people in traffic. We may not know how to react to every type of weather pattern that comes our way. Still, the freedom from our self-made storms that we gained by working steps is a source of faith. We can endure all sorts of chaos and nonsense by getting right with ourselves and our higher power. Things might not go our way, but we can still go with the flow. The current crises, whatever it is, will pass. If the problem is one of my own making, the steps will help me get through it. If the problem is not one of my own making, the steps will help me get through it. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. How powerful is that? Talking about... Um, being able to have hope that our recovery gives us, faith that our recovery gives us, um, that provides shelter in and from the storms that we go through. A lot of times, you know, I don't think about them, you know, I don't think about it in those in those terms. I think about my first instinct is when something comes up, I think to myself, I mean, <laughs> have not come this far to continue to deal with this. I know this did not just happen. Now, I'm not talking about self-made problems, right? 
because I know where to place those. Um, but it's when the things that come up that I have absolutely no control over. Uh, even let's say with my my dad passing, I knew that his time was limited. However, if you could have seen my reaction, the moment I got the phone call that he had passed, you would have thought that I was not even slightly aware that he was sick. The reaction, when I think about it, I, of course, I was relieved that he was no longer in pain. But when I think about that moment, my sister called me on FaceTime to me and she couldn't say anything. She was just shaking her head. If you could have seen my reaction, you were so, sh that must have taken her by surprise. It didn't take me by surprise at all. It was just the shock of the timing. And here I am hundreds of miles away now. And I had just left. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that this was happening. And it, even when I had left, I knew that that was going to happen, that I would not be present when he took his last breath. The timing of it all was horrible. I was with a lot of staff and we were in a prep room preparing for one of the largest events that we do where we honor the drug court, the judge that started it in the state of Michigan. And here we were prepping for that to host 200 some odd people the next day at a big function, banquet type thing. And here I was, debilitated, absolutely shut down. And I thought to myself, this is bad timing, you know. This is bad timing. This would be better if it happens on Saturday, but no, it's Thursday with a function all underway. And there's no way I could walk away from that. I guess, you know, I have choice. I could have, but I didn't see myself walking away from that with all the prep that we had done. And being the, the I would say the face right? With the mic in my hand and chairing that whole event, I just didn't see walking away from that. And I thought to myself, you need faith to get through this. You're going to need a lot of faith to pull through this, where you can at least present these awards in a manner that does not convey how terribly heartbroken you are. And you know what? My HP and my work in the program, you guys, my faith came through for me. And then after that, I was able to have, you know, um, you know, it, all of the space that I needed. Right? I was able to get through it. And I was honestly just amazed and full of gratitude that I had a program and I had you people to pull through something like that. Life happens. So no, we're not sitting here promising you a bowl of cherries without pits. We're not promising you that. We're promising you freedom from active addiction. And once you get here, the, the potential for things to still come up and throw you off balance is absolute. Things are going to happen. But the difference is you will have so many spiritual principles and experience, strength, and hope um, in your tool belt, per se, right? that you can pull out 
and use to help you get through it. Instead of using drugs to dummy down the emotions that you're feeling or to change your perception of your reality, creating illusions. And eventually you come to, if you're fortunate enough to not overdose, and you're going to face the music. You're going to face the reality of what it was you were trying to avoid, which I believe only gets worse while we're using, you know. So I appreciate this statement here, and I want to go back to it. No amount of step work or meditation will prevent us from ever experiencing loss, sadness, rage, frustration, and other unpleasant feelings. No amount of prayer will guarantee freedom from unpleasant encounters with coworkers, family members, or random people in traffic. We still have to live life on its own terms. And we have to be able to flow through those chaotic moments, those uncomfortable moments with recovery in place. And it becomes our faith that shelters us from the storms that we will go through. That much, I promise you. I do promise you that because I've seen it with my own life. I've experienced it and I'm sure of it. So maybe it doesn't seem like it's worth the effort right now, but eventually the fruit that comes from your hard work will actually be your saving grace at some point. My name is Maddie Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.